Hey guys, Jonathan Mozart here for JM Sports 100, the JM Sports Show. How's it going? Okay, so about a week ago, I posted on Twitter and on Facebook that I was going to make a video talking about why I felt Colin Kaepernick didn't have a job. Now that video was kind of put on hold after Ryan Tannehill went down with what appears to be a season-ending knee injury earlier last week because I, because I needed to see if the Miami Dolphins were going to... Uh, sign Kaepernick because it was a he was somebody that they had discussed so I wanted to kind of see if they were going to sign him before I went through with this video because it probably would have changed this video quite a bit but they didn't they went with Jay Cutler which I totally understand which at some point in time in this video I will explain to you why I understand the Jay Cutler signing yes they did talk him out of retirement pulled him away from what was going to be a broadcasting gig for him so he could be a quarterback for them they signed him to a pretty nice deal for him to be their starting quarterback on Monday. Now, in case you have been living under a rock, you may not know that Colin Kaepernick is not signed. The preseason is about to begin. Uh, the preseason begins this coming Thursday. The Hall of Fame game has already happened, and Kaepernick does not have a job, and people are in an uproar. So, for those people that are in an uproar, this next sentence is probably going to piss a lot of you guys off. Sorry for the language. I try not to swear on my videos, but I just did. Um, the reason, or it's Colin Kaepernick not being signed is Colin Kaepernick's fault. And here come the hate comments now. You don't know what you're talking about. Let me explain why they're Colin Kaepernick's fault. I was doing some some research on this Kaepernick thing before I did the video, and there's actually been stuff that I had actually even forgot about. Kaepernick is kind of known for just kind of doing his own thing. Um, he's he's had the uh, you know un or the uh, non-football related issues before, and so I think you add that to the kneeling. I don't think this is just a, oh, he knelt last year, he took a stand. I don't think that's the case at all. I think there's more to it than that. I think, and I'm going to kind of go along the same lines as Jason Whitlock from Fox Sports. Anybody who knows me knows that I don't agree with most of what Whitlock says, but I do agree with this point right here, and that is, I think that the NFL kind of has a Colin Kaepernick fatigue. You get to a point where you're just tired of the the baggage and the distractions that he brings with him. And that is a, a big part of why he... Well, I, it's, it's a decent-sized part as to why he doesn't currently have a job. And it's not just the kneeling thing, okay? It was... He's the same guy who wore a Miami Dolphins hat to, I believe, a press conference, or at least in a picture, as a member of the 49ers. What the hell is that? If you're an employer, if you're working for an employer, you're not going to wear a competitor's merchandise on the job. You're just not going to do it. Or in, in front of a camera in the public eye, especially in a situation like that when you are completely in the public eye because you are the starting quarterback of an NFL team. You're not going to do that. Okay, so you've got that. You've got him saying, you know, in this whole ordeal, you know, giving his praise to Fidel Castro. That's not going to fly. That's especially not going to fly in Miami, the place that was looking at him at, at one point in time after Tannehill went down, that's not going to fly. So, you add the issues that Kaepernick has had off the field with the fact that, let's be honest, yes, he made it to a Super Bowl. He made it to a Super Bowl with a head coach who is a bit of a quarterback whisperer in Jim Harbaugh, okay? But, he's an average quarterback at best. Let's be real about it. Once the NFL figured him out, he was he's an average quarterback at best, and I've got some stats to back that up, so if you don't mind, I'm going to give those to you right now. Now, 
these stats did come from ESPN. I will give them the right credit. So there are 35 quarterbacks that are that are qualified for the stats that I'm about to give you, okay? In the last two years, Kaepernick has played in 21 games. Ranks 26. His record is 3-16. and 16. It's good for 34th of the 35. 59% completion rating. Good for 32nd. A QBR, a total QBR of 52 is good for 31st. Those are not stats from the la- that jump out at me. Okay, when I think about Colin Kaepernick, I think about that terrible game that he had last year where I don't have the stats right in front of me, but I think it was something like going 5 for 10 for 35 yards and 4 interceptions. When it's 4 interceptions and 3 interceptions, that's what I think of when I think of Colin Kaepernick now. So listen, you combine his ineffectiveness or inability to be this quarterback that's going to light the world on fire and take your team really, really far. You combine that with all the distractions that he brings, it's not worth it. Especially because, let's be honest, and I, I I'm sorry for the people who can't seem to get this through their heads. Kaepernick is not a starting quarterback. He is a backup. And a backup is, first of all, not worth the money Kaepernick is asking for, and not worth all the distraction that is going to that he is going to bring with him. Now, another problem that I have with the Kaepernick thing, and it, it's it, it's not fully a problem. I don't hate all of it, but let me explain. Kaepernick has been doing a lot of traveling around the world this offseason and and doing stuff for for charities and and kids and poverty. I am all for that. Okay, I am not ripping that part one bit good for him. That's awesome. That is truly, totally awesome. But, if you're off doing all that, is your mind totally on football? Because if I bring you in, even as a backup, I need your mind to be on football. Because you can be called into action at any time. We saw it with the Tannehill injury. Tannehill went down on his own, no contact, scrambling. It can happen at any time, and he needs to be ready. And mentally, is he ready? Or is his mind somewhere else? Is his mind with helping the the poor people or the poorer communities? If it is, good on him. Totally. But that's, I think, another reason, too, where teams are like, is he he as dedicated to football as I need him to be if I'm going to bring him in to my team? I do think he will have a job this year. At some point in time, I think about week five, week six, the wear and tear of the NFL will hit somebody, they will need a quarterback, and they will go to Kaepernick. And if it happens, great. If it doesn't, then okay. I think a lot of people are going to see this video as anti Kaepernick. To be honest, I could care less whether or not Kaepernick plays. Um, I think if there's any party that wants Kaepernick to play, it's just so we don't have to hear any more of the whining about how he's not signed. But if he's not signed, it's all, it's a whole bunch of everything, guys. It's not just because he took a stand for what he believed in. It's because he has, that's part of it, But there's more to it. There's more distraction that he has brought. That's a big reason Tim Tebow didn't work. Along with the fact that Tebow couldn't throw a nice spiral to save his backside more times than not. But it's the fatigue thing. There's too much distraction. And if you're not good enough, if you're not at that level... If you're not at the elite level or 
or maybe even right at the gra at the at the grasp of the elite level, it's not worth it. Rogers, it'd be worth it. Brady, it'd be worth it. But somebody, even like a Cam Newton, no. So and somebody like a Kaepernick, no. Somebody like a Tim Tebow, no. It's not worth. It. I don't know. I I shouldn't have put Cam Newton in there. So I'm sorry. Nothing against Cam. He has nothing to do with this. It was first quarterback that came to my mind, except for the two that we were talking about. So I apologize for putting Cam Newton in there. Please take no offense to that. But it's just, it's not worth it. So you, you add that along with the fact that he's just not not a good enough player. That is a pretty understand, those are pretty understandable circumstances or reasons why he's not signed. And there are going to be a lot of people who don't understand it, and that that's fine, cool. But that's the reason. Okay? And like I said, he'll have a job at some point in time. But I don't think he will to start out the season. And he's got no one to blame but himself for that. Don't forget to like the Jam Sports page on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Links as always are down in the description. I can feel the heat from this video coming. I've really felt it since this video started and I'm sure that more people are going to disagree with me and say I have no idea what I'm talking about, I sound like an idiot fine um, if that's what you feel the need to do but it's really quite simple it really is not that difficult NFL picks and college football picks are coming up soon as those seasons get ready to get under those regular seasons get ready to get underway, so I will be back for picks for them. I am Jonathan Mozart for Jam Sports, the Jam Sports Show, and I will see you guys later.